Uh, thank you. Mr. President, I want to speak about <clears throat> the looming debt crisis, the fact that within 30 days, there is a real and substantial likelihood that America will do something that America has never done, and that has failed to pay its bills in full and on time. There's a lot of discussion about the debt. It's $31 trillion. There's very little discussion about what that debt is, who owns that debt, and what the implications are to all of us. Of that $31 trillion debt, Eight trillion is held by governmental entities, and that includes the Federal Reserve, two Social Security trust funds, the Medicare Insurance Trust, U.S. Military Retirement Plan. 2.8 trillion is held by money market mutual funds. Every one of our constituents knows what those are. Most of our constituents have money deposited in a money market account. They absolutely believe that they're going to get $1 out for every $1 they put in. We jeopardize that Treasury bill by defaulting on our debt. $2 trillion is held by banks. That's the money that they have to guarantee the deposits. If we think we have an issue with the run on the banks of First Republic and SVB, wait till this happens. 1.5 trillion is held by various state and local governments. That's the town you live in. It's the town I live in, where that's set aside to help their citizens. They lose value on those securities. They can do less for water and sewer, for schools and roads in their own communities. 1.1 trillion is held by private pension funds. That's folks who have saved and put into their pension fund for their retirement. Seven trillion is held by foreign central banks and foreign investors. That helps us because they help us keep our interest rates down. And they do that because the dollar in is a dollar plus interest out. That's jeopardized by this reckless plan to default on our debt. There's real harm to individuals as well as the economy goes through a cataclysm of the first time default in the history of the country. The analysts who've looked at this say a typical worker near retirement, and I'm including folks in Vermont, would see a $20,000 reduction in what they have available for retirement. The average new 30-year mortgage would be increased in cost over the life of its mortgage $130,000. Think of what you could do with that to help your child with an education. We pay our bills in full on time. That's what the United States of America has always done. That is what the United States of America must always do. Mr. President, I yield back.